Let's now go across to Priyanshi. Uh, Priyanshi, it's uh, you know starting tomorrow that uh, these notes can either be exchanged or deposit, uh, deposited in banks. And it's interesting because the RBI governors actually asked people to not rush. Hmm. Uh, a four-month period has been given for this exchange or deposit to take place. And uh, the governors also interestingly said that you know the purpose of these notes being introduced back in 2016 has essentially been served. What more can you tell us? Absolutely, Rishika. I think that message is very important coming in from the RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das that there's no need to rush. You have four months to exchange your 2,000 rupee notes or to deposit them. So that is an important assurance coming in from the RBI Governor and he's saying that all banks are prepared to exchange 2,000 rupee notes and to deposit them. So there's no need to stand in queues outside in rising temperatures and to wait to get your 2,000 rupee notes exchanged as soon as possible because you have four months, you have time till September 30. So the questions that the RBI governor has answered today, one of them is what most of us have on our minds right now. What will happen after September 30th? Well, the RBI governor has said that there's going to be no change in the status of the 2000 rupee notes. You can still use them to exchange, still use them to make payments at shops. And he's saying that that status will continue even after the 30th of September. So you can still use them as normal currency even after 30th of September. It won't turn into a, a mere piece of paper after September 30th as we saw in the 2016 demonetization. So this is not demonetization that we need to put out repeatedly for our viewers. This is not demonetization. The 2000 rupee notes will continue to be legal tender. But there were questions on whether the Reserve Bank of India and several banks will be prepared to handle this rush and will be prepared to uh, exchange the number of 2000 rupee notes that they will be getting. For that, the RBI governor has said that already 500 rupee notes have been printed in advance and we have adequate stock to exchange with 2,000 rupee notes. So that's why this, he's saying that there's no need to rush because we have adequate uh, stock. You can exchange your currency over the next coming four months. Now let's also look at why the Reserve Bank has really taken this decision to withdraw 2,000 rupee notes. The RBI governor explained this also at length in today's press conference. He said that there was one purpose for introducing 2,000 rupee notes in 2016 and that was for remonetization. Remember in 2016, 500 and 1,000 rupee notes were declared declared um, invalid overnight and people had 52 days to exchange them. So uh, close to 86% of the total currency in circulation in our country was declared invalid overnight. So we need uh, we needed some currency at that point in time to fulfill the requirement of currency in the economy. So that's why the RBI governor said that we had to remonetize and that is why we introduced the 2000 rupee notes because if we went ahead to um, print 500 rupee notes to meet the currency demand, we wouldn't have been able to print so many notes notes in such a short time even if we worked three shifts. So that's why we needed a currency that was higher in value so that the currency requirement in the economy could have been met. Now he's saying that we have enough currency available in other denominations such as 500 rupee notes and 100 notes as well. So that's why he's saying that we don't need the 2000 rupee note as it's not commonly used as well and the only purpose uh, that was there for the 2000 rupee notes was to re for remonetization. That purpose has been fulfilled because we have enough currency available in other denominations. So that's why the RBI governor has said that we are now withdrawing this currency. Anyway, it's not commonly used. If we can show you uh, the percentage share of the uh, uh, 2000 rupee notes in the total notes that are in circulation in the country currently, it's just 1.6%. So out of the total notes that are uh, in circulation in the year 2022, according to this RBI data, there are only 1.6% 2000 rupee notes. So that just shows that uh, 2000 rupee notes are not commonly used. And even in value terms, uh, the percentage share of 2000 rupee notes is just around 10 percent while in 2018 it was over 30 percent so the share has been consistently falling as you can see over the last few years and that's what the rbi governor also pointed out as a reason why 2000 rupee notes are being uh, withdrawn but an important message there rishika Rishika, that there's no need to rush and um, the, these notes will continue mm. to be legal tender even after 30th September and if people can't exchange them till then, the RBI is saying they will come up with solutions as and when the problem arises.